Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Clark Family Outdoors. We're going to do a review or at least a, an opening of a backpack that we purchased. My oldest son and I are going to Philmont this summer, so we have to do some hiking. And uh, unfortunately, the bags that I have uh, currently just aren't that good. This is a um, High Peak, uh, what was it? High Peak something spirit <clears throat> that I bought many, many years ago. It served me well, but it's starting to break down. Some of the straps are breaking. It was large enough for Phil Mont. It, this is a uh, Kathmandu 70 plus 10. So it's certainly large enough, uh, but the pack is heavy. And I mean, just by itself empty it is a heavy pack. The uh, shoulder straps are starting to kind of hurt. Um, we've used this for knob stone in Southern Indiana multiple times. I think I've even had part, this on parts of the Appalachian Trail periodically, but. Uh, not for any long distance, but a couple overnight stays. A lot of Boy Scout and Cub Scout campouts, but it's just uh, kind of hurting my back and shoulders, so I thought it was time for a new one before we go to Philmont. This is a nice one that we have here. Um, it's a high peak also, and this size is a 65, so this is a Tango. Fairly cheap, the high peak ones I think we bought off of a uh, website. Can't remember the name of the website right now. If I think about it, I'll put it in the link down below. It's okay. It's not a bad backpack. It, it could suffice, but again, uh, so kind of the shoulder straps are kind of a little breaking. Hurt me a little bit. Uh, my son may end up carrying this one on film not. We'll see, but I want to go somewhere else. Then we've got a couple smaller ones here. I really like the uh, back support in this one. This is a Lake and Trail. This may just be a Walmart brand. And we got it for my daughter when she hiked Knobstone with us. But I like how it sits up against your back, gives you a little break. This is a Deuter that I uh, carried up uh, Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania back in 2011. It was just a day pack. So for a day pack, it was great. I highly recommend this one as a day pack. Now, this is not going to work on Philmont. I can't put a whole bunch of overnight stuff in this one. So... Anyway, long story short, we went down to REI in Indianapolis. I got fitted for a backpack uh, for Philmont. They had a member's day where we had a 20% coupon off. So we can save some big time money and you know those backpacks at REI are not cheap. So I want to take advantage of that 20% discount. <clears throat> they had an Osprey that I really liked, a 55 liter, which is too small for Philmont. So, but I did try it on, liked it. And uh, supposedly the 65, will fit just like the uh, 55 did. So, sight unseen, we ordered the 65. I believe it's called an Atmos. And we're gonna do the unboxing right now. Cardboard box and haul, it feels a whole lot lighter than this old one does, or at least they're about even. So once I unwrap it, I'm sure this Atmos is gonna be a lot lighter than, than the old High Peak is. Let me grab my pocket knife and we'll see what we got here. So this is the unopening. I am going to hike with this today. And uh, assuming there's no defects that I can see immediately. But again, this is sight unseen. They did not have one in the, in the store for me to take a look at. So this is what she looks like. Atmos 65. <clears throat> We've got, and I'll do a full review after we hike today. We've got some side pockets there. You got, here's the sleeping bag. Pouch there. You do have an inner wall that you can separate between the sleeping bag and the uh, rest of your pack, I believe. Yep, sure enough. Got a couple different pocket op options here. That's always good. We do have the space for your camelback or whatever drink you'd like to drink there. Interesting. I'm not the here's your here's your pack that you can actually take off and use as a little day pack outing if you want to. Let's see. I do not see 
a rain gear, a rain guard. I figured, I thought that would come with one for the price you paid. You think you gotta have a cover. Maybe I'll have to go back out and get that myself, but it has what's known as an anti-gravity system. So you put it on and it separates this from your back. So um, I, and I really like the padding that we have in the shoulder straps. These things look heavy duty, durable, very strong. Uh, I feel like when I when I wore the six the 55, I felt like it had a plenty of support, and I think I'm gonna have plenty of support again with the 65. So this is the initial review. You've got pockets here on the side strap, so buckle them around your waist, and you've got pocket here, pocket here for incidentals. There is no camel back in here, so you have to get your own, uh, buy your own one there for for, for water source. But all things considered, it looks pretty sturdy, and I think it's going to work for film on it. So we'll give it a shot. Again, I'm going to go hike uh, about 10 miles today with it, and we'll give you a review later on. But uh, anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. All right, so we are at the Wabash uh, State Park in Indiana. It's pronounced Wabash. It's spelled Wubachi. O-U-B-A-C-H-E. I think it's the Indian uh, spelling of the name Wabash. Anyway, uh, just an update, We're three miles into the hike, and this pack is probably one of the most comfortable packs I've ever had. Uh, so I'm thinking it's gonna be great for Philmont. I think it'll work fine, but uh, feels pretty comfy right now. I'm making a few adjustments every now and then, but not too many. So uh, I'm looking forward to giving it a longer shot here. So we've got seven more miles in this morning's hike. And that's the old fire uh, tower at Wabash Park, Ubachi, however you want to call it, but we call it Wabash. And uh, the scouts of Troop 433 have made it up to the top successfully, and some of them are, looks like some of them are still going up, some are coming down. Uh, but anyway, just a nice place to go up there and view the uh, surrounding area. So also a nice little addition to our hike today. All right, so our troop finished the trail, and uh, must say, Backpack did great, it fits fine. It is a uh, Osprey Atmos 65 AG, I believe is the term, and it's gonna do fine for Philmont. So if you were considering looking at the backpack and wanting to purchase this one, right now I'd give it two thumbs up. We'll see what I say after Philmont, but uh, I'd give it two thumbs up. Here we are at the Scout uh, Center. We got Scouts rolling in there for some training and uh, just a good solid backpack. So if you're looking for one, I'd recommend it. It's, it's not bad. It's pricey, but it's a pretty good, pretty good feel, pretty good fit. So uh, again, that's the Osprey Atmos 65 AG. So best of luck for you if you're hiking, plan on hiking Philmont too. I'll have some more Philmont reviews coming up very soon.